Hi, it's Mike Woods, the Property Expert Partnership, and welcome to this refurbishment. A lot of people often ask me about load-bearing walls and what are they, how do you determine which wall is a load-bearing wall. So I'll take you upstairs in a minute to show you how we can identify it, but this is one such wall. So this is a front lounge and we have a lounge behind and as we work modern properties, these with large spaces, I'm going to take this wall down. Now it's sufficient to say, well, it's solid and therefore it's, it's a solid wall, but is it load-bearing? Because I can take you to this wall and it's equally solid, but this is not a load-bearing wall. So I could take this wall out without affecting the structure above. But on this one, this joist, uh, this wall, sorry, is taking the joists from the front of the property and the joists from the back of the property, and they're both sitting on this wall, and this is load bearing. So if we go upstairs, I can show you how very easily to identify if a wall is load bearing. So if you want to go upstairs. So we have a great opportunity here to give you an idea of how to identify it. Now you don't always get the chance when everything's open like this, but quite often above the wall below you'll have a similar wall which splits two bedrooms. Now the very easy way to find out which direction the joists are going is peel up the carpet and look at the floorboards. So as you'll see here the floorboards are going across the building and of course they are fitted onto the joists which are going front to back. So if you want to just come into this area, you can plainly see. So I've lifted these floorboards for you to see. So you can see here that these joists are running from the front wall to the middle point and then the joists will extend onto the rear wall. So that's it guys, that's how you identify if a wall is load bearing. This is carrying joists from front to back and those joists are loading on the partition underneath. The wall at the side is going in the same direction as the joists, and that is not load bearing. So I hope you found that interesting, and look forward to looking at further videos in the series. Thank you, bye bye.